denial. It can take you by surprise, especially if it's uttered from your own lips. For some reason, the heart and head don't connect with the mouth and then it all goes horribly wrong. You've said too much to take any of it back. Denial isn't simply a slip of the tongue. You utter the words and you find yourself in the middle of a situation that's quite simply unbelievable, unimaginable. A situation that if you had discussed it a few hours earlier with your friends, you would have dismissed and disowned the whole idea of it as ridiculous. So today, the camera is focused sharply on Peter. How he would be tested. How he would fail. His presence in the courtyard of the house of the high priest lies somewhere between courage and cowardice. Imagine, you are there. The morning air is sharp, you are shivering and exhausted and the draw towards the warmth of the newly lit fire is too much to resist. But these campfire gossiping companions around you now create an uncomfortable gathering. Curiosity circles just as these human vultures do and the glow from the fire is just enough to make you recognisable. And that's when it starts. The pointing, the whispering, the talking. Peter thought he could handle it, but he couldn't. You see, the thing about denial is it seems like the correct choice at the time. It may be the only choice you have in that moment when your back is against the wall. To stand up for some truth or someone you believe in takes courage. It takes guts to identify yourself with the unpopular. To be part of a community of change. Too risky when you feel under threat and you're scared out of your skin. So best to disown the relationship. Put some distance behind yourself and this man with radical ideas. Yeah, that seems like the safest place to be for now. But what about longer term? Feelings of shame linger too long. There's a stain on your heart and a recurring nagging, nagging voice in your head saying... You fool. Forever you want to relive that second when you denied. To behave differently, but it's too late. Looking back, Peter had been on the most bizarre personal journey. Jesus walking up to him saying, follow me. And he had to, he couldn't resist. There was just something about Jesus that first meeting and the last three years of change. The transformation of Simon, a Galilean fisherman, to Peter, leader of the disciple group, prepared to challenge and defy the Jewish and Roman authorities, is a story of strength and power. Did what Jesus have in mind for this disciple go way beyond his abilities, beyond his ability to understand and capability to handle? So here, in this courtyard, Peter had the chance to nail his colours to the mast. But instead, denial, denial, denial. His defection from the disciple group and his abandonment of Jesus is complete. 
You were with Jesus, weren't you? In the background, Jesus is alone, neglected. You were with Jesus, weren't you? The men guarding this prisoner shout their abuse. You were with Jesus, weren't you? In the middle of this unfolding drama, there's Peter, the man whose bold words and actions had brought him to the forefront of discipleship. Peter, the man who confidently proclaimed Jesus as the Son of God, the Messiah. Peter, the man who just a few hours earlier had vowed that he would never, ever leave Jesus' side, even if it meant his own death. Was there perhaps a deeper depth still in his denials, even the beginnings of doubt whether, well, after all, Jesus was who he had believed him to be? Perhaps the sight in the distance of Jesus, broken, bloodied, unresisting, and evidently defeated, played a part. Jesus hadn't defended himself, let's be honest. He'd just gone with these men. And when the accusations started, Peter panicked. Some say his susceptible nature would be strongly affected by the trying scenes of the last day. For denial is a defence we all use at times. Did Peter follow Jesus to the courtyard out of love, but at a distance of fear? He'd always thought that Jesus was going to stick around. The role carved out for Peter and the plans made a few hours earlier seemed now unrealistic. Denial. 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 So what kind of person is this man Peter? A traitor? A liar, a deserter, a courageous and caring friend. What kind of person is this man, Peter? I'll let you decide. <laughs>